Hey guys, welcome back to Stay Slick. Today, we are gonna be doing a maintenance wash on this Colorado. I'm gonna be showing you my drying process, but highlighting the Max Shine Mini Handheld Blower. Let's go. All right, so here we are to look at the blower. This thing is pretty small, pretty handheld. If, if you've seen the Blow, B-L-O, with the line over it, the blue one, and you see this is a similar design. The reason, the only reason I didn't get the Blow version is because I thought it looked ridiculous. It looks like the most ugly hair dryer you've ever seen. And to be fair, this part here is probably about the same, but the handle's here. The other handle is this big old monster thing on the bottom and it's just ugly as heck, man. I just, I couldn't get down with it. Let's see, 10 amps, so you don't have to worry about busting any uh, breakers. Most generators have 15 amp breakers in the house as well. Horsepower, one and a half, volume of air, 22,000 feet per minute at 90 CFM. Power is 110, 120 volts, 1200 watts. You take this back piece off right here. This back piece comes off and it's this little filter here. See, I need to clean mine actually. But it's this little foam filter right here. This little piece goes on, you just find the spot. It's an excellent little, little dryer. This little piece comes off the end. It's very hard to get off, especially when you have beaded up on your hands. <laughs> There's another piece I don't have with me right now, but it's the flat piece. It goes on and it's got a flat end so you can have more of a flat type. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on with a generator so you can hear what it sounds like. Like I said, it's got one speed setting. Here it is right here. It is serious. Also, the air is heated. So now that we went and looked at the up-close stuff, I'm gonna take you into my wash process, all the different steps that I do, and I'm gonna show you where I implement this thing and why I love it so much. Let's go. All right, so mic issues incoming. If you ever get a wireless mic system, don't get the Rode wireless mic, it's terrible. Anyways, what I'm trying to say here is the first thing I'm gonna do is blow off the majority of the water with my Makita blower with the stubby nozzle. After I do that, I'm gonna take a towel with my drying aid and dry the water, and then I'm gonna go back with the Max Shine blower to get all the intricate stuff uh, off the vehicle. All right, so now we're at the drying process. I blew off most of the water with the stubby, the uh, Makita blower. Then I come back with my drying aid, which is 3D beaded up. After I'm done with all of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with that blower and I am going to get all of the water out of the intricate areas. So in my opinion, this is where I think this blower shines. All this water that's trapped in here behind the handles that we get when we do that, all the water that's trapped in the mirrors, it's notorious for that. This is where I think the blower shines. Intricate areas, places like the wheels, absolutely shine. So let me show you the way that I use it. Okay, so you gotta make sure to go through and do all this intricate work, right? You're gonna get a lot of water that drips behind the mirrors, around the, the windows, like I just showed, behind the door handles. A lot of times you have to go over this two or three times. You see, I just did all that blowing and there's still water behind it. This little tool is perfect for that. I love this little thing. So one of my favorite things to do is to use this thing for wheels. When I go to do uh, the drying process on wheels, a lot of times I like to add protection, right? If I'm gonna add protection, this is what I would do. Right, add a little bit of protection, go in there, wipe in that 3D, beat it up like this. Make sure it's all wiped into the wheel. So we're getting it set in there. And then after doing all of that, I will go back and now do the blowing portion. I'm gonna blow out the lug nuts. I'm gonna blow off the tires, make sure it's all dry. Then I'll go back in and do a tiny little touch up um, with the towel. 
So let's get that. So just like that, less than a minute, I got this thing bone dry pretty much. I mean, there's always a possibility of, you know, a drop or two coming out. That's just the nature of, of the way water works. So, but what I was concerned with was laying down protection, getting the wheel dry, getting the tire dry so it's ready to receive tire shine. Right, guys that's it so it's all done I uh, just want to reiterate again the max shine mini handheld dryer this thing is unbelievable it's literally become an integral part of my daily process I use it to blow out interiors I use it to blow out the exterior of the vehicle I use it to make sure everything is perfect before I do my ceramic coatings before I do polishing because you don't want any water coming out and interfering with that it's just an awesome product. And I think I got it for right around hundred bucks. I'll put the actual price right down here right now. Um, I just love this thing so much. It's such a great tool. It's so versatile. In a lot of cases, it has replaced my uh, Vortex cleaning tool on the interior just to blow things out. I just, I love it. So, hey, that's my thoughts on it. That's my drying process. Like I said, again, it's blow it off with the big blower lay down a drying aid, wipe it with a towel, go back and get all the intricate water out, the stuff that's gonna pour out and, and whatnot, and then wheels especially. That's what I like to use it for. Thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you to all the Stay Slick fam. I appreciate you guys. You have a good day, all right? Peace. Stay slick. Let's get it.